Paul, the author of Philippians, was a man on a mission. Once a fierce persecutor of Christians, he experienced a profound encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus. His life took a dramatic turn. He became a devoted follower of Christ, carrying the message of the gospel from Jerusalem to distant lands, sharing the good news that had radically changed his own life. One of the churches Paul established was in Philippi, a bustling Roman colony. He held a special place in his heart for the Philippian believers. They were more than just a congregation to him. They were his dear friends, his partners in ministry. Years later, while imprisoned in Rome, Paul wrote a letter to the Philippian church. This letter, now known as the Book of Philippians in the New Testament, overflows with affection, encouragement and profound theological insights. It's a letter penned with love, a testament to the enduring power of the gospel to transform lives and unite hearts across distances. Imagine receiving a letter from a dear friend who is imprisoned, facing an uncertain future. What tone would you expect? Despair, bitterness. Surprisingly, Philippians begins with an outpouring of joy. Paul, despite his circumstances, is filled with joy as he writes to the Philippians. He rejoices in their partnership in the gospel, in their love for Christ, and in the confident assurance that God, who began a good work in them, would carry it on to completion. This joy is not dependent on circumstances. It's rooted in something deeper, something unshakable. Paul's joy stems from his relationship with Jesus Christ. It's a joy that transcends suffering, a joy that can only be found in the presence of God. Pause for a moment, consider the challenges you face. Can you, like Paul, find reasons for joy even in the midst of trials? Paul uses the word partnership or fellowship numerous times in Philippians chapter 1. He emphasizes the beautiful reality that believers are united in Christ, sharing in his mission and supporting one another in love. The Philippians, though geographically distant from Paul, had faithfully partnered with him in spreading the gospel. They had sent him financial support, prayed for him, and encouraged him in his ministry. Their partnership was a source of deep encouragement to Paul. He saw it as a tangible expression of their shared faith, a testament to the power of the gospel to bridge divides and unite people from all walks of life. Despite the joy and encouragement, Paul doesn't shy away from urging the Philippians to live lives worthy of the gospel. He calls them to stand firm in their faith, to be unified in love and to shine as lights in a dark world. He uses the imagery of a race, urging them to press on toward the goal, which is the prize of knowing Christ Jesus. This race is not a competition against one another, but a shared journey of faith, a striving together towards the ultimate finish line. Paul's words are a powerful reminder that the Christian life is not a passive existence, but an active pursuit of Christ, a daily surrender to his Lordship. It's a call to live with purpose, to make every effort to grow in our faith and to share the love of Christ with the world around us. At the heart of Paul's letter is the message that changed his life and the lives of countless others throughout history, the gospel. It is the good news that God, in his infinite love, sent his son, Jesus Christ, into the world to bridge the gap between humanity and himself. Jesus, born in Bethlehem, raised in Nazareth, ministered in Galilee, and ultimately gave his life on a cross in Jerusalem, becoming the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. He rose again, conquering death, and offering the gift of eternal life to all who believe. The gospel message is simple yet profound. It's about God's love for us, our need for a savior, and the incredible hope we have in Jesus Christ. It's a message that transcends time and culture, a message that has the power to transform lives today just as it did in the first century. As you reflect on Paul's letter to the Philippians, may you be encouraged by his unwavering faith, challenged by his call to live a life worthy of the gospel, and above all, embrace the hope found in the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ.